Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here, once again with another video on The Flash Season 4. So this is going to be my review for Episode 6, otherwise entitled, When Harry Met Harry. But obviously, before we get into the rest of the video, uh, there's going to be spoilers in this. And there's some pretty big spoilers, especially towards the end. So if you've not watched the episode, go check it out before watching the rest of the video. Uh, this video, might I say. And uh, yeah... So last episode was it was its own like little filler episode in regards to like the main story of the season. Uh, it didn't really apply too much to what was going on in this episode, apart from maybe some stuff with just some bonding with Ralph. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. But speaking of Ralph and Barry, I love the banter that we had in the beginning of this episode just between them, which is sort of carried on from the first episode where we did meet Ralph. But we basically get like a similar scene back to season one of The Flash where Barry got mugged back in season one. I think it was in episode two, I want to say. It was in one of the early episodes. And I'm pretty sure that was the exact same mugger that came in, uh, you know, in confronted Ralph and Barry. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it was. If it isn't, they just look really, really similar. But essentially, you almost get like a play off that scene from season one in this episode where, well, it's Ralph's turn to, you know, test his abilities and stuff like that. But unfortunately, the, you know, this mugger sort of gets himself into a bad situation by getting himself shot. So, yeah. Now, funnily enough, I wasn't expecting too much of the Thinker in this episode, but he plays a pretty big role in like big moments. But we see the mechanic, who is like the Thinker's assistant, worry that the Thinker will be eventually found out. Like he's not, you know, taking it as seriously as, they, as she thinks he should be. But the Thinker is, you know, he's pretty confident. He only sees like multiple, multiple endings of how this, you know, certain thing plays out. And he only sees himself being victorious. So, hmm, I wonder if that's actually going to be the case come the end of the season. Now, we do learn that Harry from Earth 2, Harry Wells, has actually made some friends, which Cisco had sort of uh, suggested previously. And, of course, everyone's proud of him, especially Cisco. It's like they've sort of flipped the roles. Cisco's like a proud father to Harry now. And you have to be proud of Harry in that situation, don't you? But we'll get to his friends that he makes in a second. Now, I wasn't really expecting to go back to the therapist in this episode that we had back in, what, episode two or three or whatever it was, um, you know, between uh, Barry and Iris, but Barry and Iris actually take Ralph there. Bit random that Iris went there, but I guess it was just to, you know, play off that scene from the previous episode. But essentially this is done to sort of like hypnotize Ralph and get some memories from him on the bus. Now, the whole Ralph on the bus thing was sort of skipped over in episode four. Like it was just sort of like suggested that he might've been on the bus. It was sort of skipped over. So when it came to this episode, I was sort of surprised because they never like 100% confirmed that he was on the bus. Unless they did, but I'm 99% sure that they didn't. So I just thought it was a bit random that they just like chucked us into that situation where Ralph was on the bus. And I found it a bit weird because they had said going into this season that like the origin of Ralph's powers were going to be like a big mystery of the season and would be, you know, not knowing about it for a while. So I don't know if this is meant to like throw us off and he got them some other way or if he actually got them from the bus. But the fact that he was able to see uh, this villain that we'll talk about in a second on the bus, you know, he was on the bus. So they must have changed their mind uh, when they introduced the character. But this villain is called Black Bison. Now in the comics, Black Bison is actually a male. They've changed it to female. They've done this multiple times on the show. I don't have a problem with it. I know some people do get annoyed by it. I really don't care too much. But essentially her powers are that she can uh, make inanimate objects, so, you know, statues and stuff like that, come to life. And we see a couple of examples of that in this episode. The one I would would have liked to see would have been like the stone, sort of like saber tooth tiger or tiger or whatever it was, if that came to life and we actually saw it. But it would have been a bit gruesome, so I understand why they didn't show it. But her motive is essentially she's Native American and she's trying to get all these Native American artifacts away from museums and people buying them and stuff and return them to her people. Seeing CSI Barry again in this episode was awesome. We really don't get too much of it. I think they're trying to like, you know, work that more into this season. Like, you know, Barry is a crime scene investigator so or a forensic uh, person, so why not make him do it? So they're trying to bring that in, but I can understand why they can't do it every episode just because, you know, certain episodes don't apply to that. But in this episode, you know, some dude was, you know, torn up by something, it requires Barry to come in, so we have CSI Barry. So hopefully we get more cases like that in this episode, uh, in this season, might I say, but I'm not expecting it every single episode. But the big thing for this episode that I was really, really looking forward to ever since they released the synopsis for this episode was the Council of Wells. Now, Harrison, or Harry Wells, might I say, has brought them together to solve the whole uh, DeVoe thing, like figure out who is this DeVoe that um, contacted uh, Ralph earlier on. Now, this Council of Wells were the friends that Harry was talking about before. So we get 
uh, like a Matthew McConaughey sort of like Harrison Wells. Is that what they were going for? Like the whole voice he was doing? I think that's what they were going for. We had like a sort of like German Wolfgang. I think it was like Harrison Wolfgang Wells or something like that. Then we had my two favorites. We had Mad Max Wells who was doing like a sort of like an Australian accent, sort of like a rough one, like a, almost like a Mel Gibson rough one, sort of like that. And then we had one which was, went away, which was pretty disappointing. We had Lord of the, Lord of the Rings Wells or... Harrison Wells the Grey or something like that. Basically, he was dressed as Gandalf. Um, that was amazing. So that was awesome. That had they had that in this episode. And the Council of Wells was just an awesome thing to have in this episode. And I love like the the banter between all of them. And, and it, it was just awesome to have. And hopefully, we see more Harrison Wells. Not necessarily these uh, three or four that popped up in this episode, but hopefully, we see more Wellses popping up this season. Now, in this episode, we did have like the prototype elongated man suit, which I think was pretty good. Like the thing is. A lot of people saw the suit and they're like, oh, what the hell? What the hell is going on here? That is the worst suit ever. I think I talked about this in my trailer breakdown. This is very similar to like when Barry had his suit from episode one of season one. Like that was a prototype to test his abilities and stuff like that. And that's essentially what this is. Cisco has made the material and then eventually down the track, he's going to get a better suit. Uh, I don't know when. I think that he's still wearing this suit in filming. I think I saw some set photos from like two weeks ago or something. He's still wearing the gray suit. So I don't expect the new suit in like the next couple of weeks. I'm expecting it like by like maybe episode 14 or 15 of this season. We'll hopefully get his new suit. I'm not expecting it too soon though. But just be patient with the suit. I think it's just funny seeing him in this like ridiculous suit at the moment anyway. But speaking of Ralph, he did have like a big learning curve this episode. And he had to learn the hard way really when Barry was telling him yo, you got to, you know, public before bad guys. So if you see like a member of the public or a, you know, the, the good guy, if you want to call him that, in trouble, help them out. It's more important to save their life than capture the bad guy because we can get another chance to do that at a later stage. And unfortunately, a little girl does get injured due to Ralph trying to get the bad guy instead of, you know, you know, uh, saving the public, which was unfortunate. But this all does lead to like Barry and Ralph becoming closer and becoming more friendly with each other, uh, with each other, and basically becoming friends. You'd have to call them friends now. And Ralph is in the, just in that headspace where he's just not confident with himself, if you want to call it that. Like he doesn't really have people around him to support him, which you could understand. But now he has Barry and Team Flash around him. I think you will start to see a much, much better side of Ralph. And you, you basically saw that in this episode, which was good to see. Now, I did love the scene in the museum. We did get like little teasers at it in the trailer for this episode, but my favorite part of the whole museum scene, like it was very reminiscent of Night at the Museum when like the dinosaur came out, like the T-Rex. But my favorite part of it was when uh, Ralph ended up in the T-Rex's mouth and goes, for the love of Jeff Goldblum. Like I, was, I just lost it when he said that. I was like, holy crap, that's hilarious. If you don't know what that is, Jeff Goldblum, was in Jurassic Park, and he's basically the meme of Jurassic Park. Like, any, any any memes from Jurassic Park, it's Jeff Goldblum. But speaking of Ralph getting, like, that girl in trouble, you do get good guy Ralph at the end of the episode when he does visit the hospital with the girl in there and makes balloon animals with his hands and stuff like that. I thought it was a really nice scene, and as I said, it's just showing that evolution of Ralph in a very short time. Like, we met in episode four, pretty unlikable, and now it's only episode six, and I think he's very, very likable. I'm really liking the, the character of Ralph Dibney. I think the actor that's playing him, Hartley Sawyer, is doing a great job. And a lot of people are comparing him to like a young Jim Carrey, which I can see. It's like almost like the mask, him playing the elongated man. So I'm really enjoying it. And then we also learned that he did mail back the artifact um, to the Native Americans. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but were they called the Sioux? Is that like their like, I don't know what you'd call it, like their tribe, if you want to call it, like the Sioux. Um, that's pretty, like, uh, coincidental because Ralph's wife in the comics is called Sue Dibney, so I don't know if they did that intentionally um, or it's just coincidental, as I said. But let me know in the comments if they said Sue because that's pre I'm pretty sure what they said. But the end of this episode was pretty big, and I was sort of expecting it at the end of the episode. I wasn't really expecting too much thinker at the beginning, but... We actually learn that Team Flash learn of Clifford DeVoe. Like, they find out that this DeVoe is called Clifford DeVoe. And, well, we're heading to his house. And when we get there, we see the mechanic dressed as up, up like your typical housewife. And then we meet DeVoe, and he looks completely different. Has all the hair in the back of his head. Obviously, he's still in a wheelchair because DeVoe is meant to be sort of weak. Like, he is meant to be in a chair. Like, he isn't able to use, like, his lower half. And then his lower half is basically gone. He's very weak and fragile. But it makes you think, like, holy crap, how did he disguise himself like that? Because 
It's, I thought that all that stuff on his head was sort of helping him out, but maybe that's helping out his intelligence, but I'll have to wait and see next episode. Next episode is a big Clifford DeVoe episode. I know that we're going to have some flashbacks with him. So we're going to learn a lot about him uh, in that episode. And I'm very, very much looking forward to that, seeing that that episode will then lead into the crossover. So yeah, big, big things coming for The Flash. But overall, I thought this was an amazing episode of The Flash. I think it was really funny, but not like over the top funny, where it just becomes, you know, a bit of a meme, if you want to call it that. Meeting the Council of Wells was awesome. It had the right amount of comedy with a good story, more character progression for Ralph. And I guess you could say Harry as well. And then it also furthered the whole metahuman bus and thinker storyline as well. So I really have no complaints for this episode, apart from one I didn't mention at the beginning of the episode. And that's in that mugging scene. The mugger saw Barry and then Barry used his speed to take him to the hospital. I thought that was a bit like, uh, what the hell's going on there? Like Barry really doesn't care about his, about his identity, might I say, and just using his powers. That's, that's like the only nitpick I could have for the episode. But yeah, I really enjoyed it and hopefully you guys did as well. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and the episode as well. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. Let me know in the comments section down below what was your favorite part of the episode. What didn't you like? My only nitpick, as I said, was that mugging scene. Just like Barry taking him to the hospital. I thought that was a bit weird. But yeah, just leave all of your opinions in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.